Hey everyone, this is Greg, Underground Graphics. I wanted to talk to you guys today about our project we're gonna be doing for Ted's of EVS Motors. Um, this is his Bronco. We're going to test fit our hockey low stripe. Uh, I think we teased that a few weeks ago. Uh, we did not do a video on it, so I do wanna go ahead and do an install video with that kit. Um, I try to talk him into keeping this kit. We're gonna do this in bronze to match the wheels. Uh, I think he's going to go for that first high, but we're going to get this done, send him a picture and see what he thinks. Uh, in the meantime, we did do a gold pinstripe on top of his um, black hood bump. Uh, again, this was, this was all his. He, he did the wrap. He did his hood. Uh, we did go back and add our tint for the side of the grill, uh, some tint here over the headlights, and we did the bronze um, overlays on those uh, grill letters as well as we did end up making a new piece for our tent kit which will be the mirrors we've yet to do this the mirror is a difficult one to do we're going to ship that out if you order the lens piece we're going to ship that out with four of them so you've got one to to uh mess up if you have a hard time with it we did cut little slits in there so that's going to go on as one piece but it's going to fold down pretty nicely um, and it's really not too bad heat's the key one on that if you get into a bind Anyway, that low hockey stripe that we're going to do, you'll see this here in a minute, but it's going to start up here. In this case, we're not going to do the full. We do have a full version as well, which comes up just like our standard hockey that does that goes over this, this, this body line here. Again, that low hockey is going to go right below this line, right over those handles. We will have cutouts for that. Makes install a whole lot easier um, without having to cut that out. And again, ours is gonna stop here at the fender since he already has the hood graphic on it, but we will have that option if you wanna continue all the way over. As well, we're gonna have the angled option as well as that curved option. Standard kits are gonna be one color. It's always an option if you wanna go back and add a second, we can do an outline around that or make that pinstripe a second color. Anyway, let me show you what this kit's gonna look like. Again, in this instance, this is just gonna be a test uh, for us. So we did just cut one side. Um, again, we're going to go with that an antique bronze. This is a gloss. Unfortunately, they do not make this color with a satin or a matte finish. Um, so that matte you're seeing on here now is just the air mask on top of that. This is one of those examples again. Um, I matched this myself. That's why it's a little dirty looking. They do have some uh, bubbles in there, some wrinkles. That's just in the mask, guys. That's not going to be on that film as we take that mask off. That mask is there just to protect it. It's a transfer tape so we can transfer from backing paper to the the car itself uh anyway again here's your front fender here's your front door rear door rear quarter this is what it's going to go over that gas cap we'll have to do a little trimming on that that is the only part you're going to have to trim again our vinyl is always wrap film um, that's what separates us from most of our competition uh, we prefer the wrap film it is pricey so it's going to be a bit more than what you're used to seeing uh, that makes our installs uh, almost twice as fast, sometimes longer, to, just depends on what that kit is going to be. Uh, again, we believe if, if, if we can wrap a car with it and it's got some time on it, we can do the same thing with the Stripe. There's nothing wrong with those other kits as well, going wet, it's just a little bit harder to install, takes a little bit more time. So if you get a dry kit and you're going to do this install yourself, it's going to save you time. It's going to be a lot easier to do. If you get a dry, if you get a wet kit and you do it yourself, it's going to take you a while um, as well as that installer if you go somewhere else they're going to charge you a little bit more if you do a dry kit it's going to go a lot faster you're going to save that money on that back end of that anyway let's go ahead and get started see if we can get this in one take here um, some of those tools you're going to need again we're going to provide you with the hard squeegee you're not going to have that soft end on there but we do suggest that you can either use an old soft shirt wrap it around that a microfiber and that's only if you're going to squeegee on the on the vinyl itself with this transfer paper you can go back over there with that hard edge it's going to be just fine some masking tape a pair of scissors heat gun again i've got that alcohol mix 70 percent water 30 percent alcohol this is to clean the paint again this vehicle is wrapped so we already went back over there just with a light quick detail actually just to kind of get it get it clean um, I know he just did this recently, so we're not that worried about anything that's on top of that. Um, tape measure, I'm not sure if we're really going to need that or not. Let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these pieces over. We'll get this over there on the Bronco. A pair of scissors, knife, towel, alcohol. My 
set up a little camp here. Anytime you get a kit, no matter where it's from, whose it is, um, you do want to go ahead and tape that into place, make sure everything fits. And again, these are going to follow that body line, like I said, so we can go right up to that. Other thing is when you get these into place, with these four, you know, this is cut in four sections, we can get down and look down the end of that vehicle and really see if that's where we want that as long as so make sure it doesn't you know it doesn't break and go up and down what we will notice on this already is with that matte finish that tape doesn't stick as well but with this wrap film uh heat post heat i'm sure you've heard that phrase before that's going to set that adhesive And obviously, once that's bonded for a little bit, we won't have any issues with it. We've been getting a lot of response to the YouTube videos with the comments. Again, we're always here. You can call us anytime if you have any questions on any of this. I love to talk Bronco. And again, with these cutouts, we're going to just center that over that make sure we're right under and it basically sits right on that handle i should have started that timer i was really curious to see what this takes us to do this i think we're about just under a half an hour for one side um, maybe even less than that so you should be about an hour for this kit again that's going to be if it's if you're already prepped and cleaned and everything like that um, you know, these are newer vehicles, but we typically like to, to clay bar the area uh, before we do a, a vinyl install. Again, I've got this tape here in the center because we're going to do something called the hinge method for each of these panels going all the way across. And again, we've got that natural line here, but if you have such as only a little bit of vinyl there. Another trick is to go ahead and give yourself that line up so you know where you're gonna be. the um, the factory badging which obviously you will if you it's brand new um, this will hit that so you're going to have to remove the um, those logos um, we call them refrigerator magnets um, if you don't like those there's the um, I believe Bronco Depot USA had some really nice script badges um, I'm sure there's going to be some alternative ideas out there as well and again this piece here if you do the full this you're going to you may have to slide a little bit back so with the full version that has the hood that you know that, that goes all the way over you're going to set that first and then adjust this to match that um, again this one's designed just for the side so we've closed that stripe up there at the top again on that full version those stripes are going to come up over and, and they're going to meet so you can see here, I've already got a little bit of an adjustment, but again, that's going to be really easy to do. We can follow that back down and see how that looks. That was really small. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and mark that baseline just in case that doesn't hold. Let me get four more and we'll get started. One, two, three, four. 
again, I want to give a special thanks to um, EVS Motors for letting us use this um, for this test fit, fitment um, or for the video. I really wanted to show you guys how, how easy this kit is to put on, kind of give another example of what this looks like. I know you're so used to seeing the white and the black. Um, I love what um, EVS had done with this, with their Bronco. And uh, we've known each other for quite a long time. Going back to the uh, import tuner days, I think we both had Subarus back in 2001 or 2002. But uh, he's got a great business over there and we're happy to work with him. So make sure you check them out on YouTube as well. So this is that spot again where you can either go from the front or you can go from the back and kind of just get a bird's eye looking down that vehicle. You can see that pinstripe line up all the way down. And I can already see from here, it's it's right on. So you saw how easy that lines up. It just has to follow that body line. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Scissors, so I got a knife if I need it. But again, I've showed you in some of those other videos. I like to break this seam on this. I gotta flip this one over. Now that we're there. Just gonna hold that up there. But I like to put that squeegee on that tape line pull that back and then there's my mark. I've got that mark to line back up to. We're gonna pull that all back. And here's where that, that little guide comes in handy. You can come right up under that. Just wanna tack it in case we need, do need to move it and then we'll line this one back up. Again, with this matte surface, I know this is gonna be a little harder for me to get this mask off, but. Not a big deal. Again, this you don't want to pull too hard because it will stretch, but just keep it firm. I'm going to go ahead and cut that excess while I'm here. We cut that I'm cut I'm turning the blade of this in so I'm not scratching that paint on that you just want to you can really go right, right in the middle of it but towards the left side of that gap that's gonna allow you just enough to to tuck this end back in once we get that mask pulled off and again we can actually go ahead and do that now Let's see this doesn't stick very well yeah it's all right so I want to be sure I've got a good Good tack on that. And again, if this was paint, this is going to be a lot easier. I mean, it's just going to look good. I'm going to have to work this off. 
Let's get started. Again, the painted surface, you would not have this issue. If you've got stealth PPF, it's gonna be very similar to this, but it will stick. Slow, nice and slow. You can see where those marks were in that. It comes right out. So if you can see up that, how that was, you know, that mat was pulled, not letting that adhesive stick real well. Now with this, I know it's just sitting on top of that. That's when we'll go back with that heat gun and get that good bond. So let me go ahead and grab that now. And this really just got to get warm. Post heating is going to be about 180 degrees. But this will also allow you to see as you heat this vinyl up where it's, where it's not stuck, it'll lift. got a couple options here we could cut this off in this end here tuck it I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put my squeegee there put the pop let that tuck and again it's even easier get that soft and then you can always go back and trim that edge if you want to, or you can cut it short before and let that roll to the back. Having a little extra never hurts. What you don't want is that to be too short. Some people like these kits to be cut right before that seam. I like that to roll these edges so that stripe looks complete all the way down. Now front and back, we can stop those short. Again, I just want to get that started for now and we'll come back and all right I think we've got a delivery about to come in so before it gets really loud in here I'm going to take a brief pause get our delivery and we'll be right back all right all right we're back Got our delivery, ready to get back on this job. So we just finished that door piece, we're gonna get back on here. 
Um, one thing I noticed during that little break was, you know, he's got so much black on here going with that green. I'm gonna come back and fill these in with um, a satin black. Um, typically, if we were gonna do that with the kit, we would actually do that bronze as a solid piece and then go back and overlay that pinstripe on top of that. In this case, we've already been, we've already cut it. This is kind of a last, last minute decision to do this. I think he's gonna love it. I really like this kit and I wanna see this stay on here. So we're gonna do that after we get everything else on. And again, that's something that would not be, the method we're gonna to do to, to do that is gonna be not what y'all will be doing, should you choose to go with a two color kit. But this will be a good example of what a two color hockey stripe will look like. I've done this a handful of times, we really don't have it set up yet on the site as a two color option. But again, anything we do can be customized. So just feel free to give us a call and say, hey, can you do this? Yes, we can. did not stick super great to that mat. I wonder if he had ceramic coated this yet. I don't think he has. I'll still put that back in my mouth. We'll go back with that heat just to get that to tack. Again, this is something we can go back and do really after. On your, on your Bronco with paint, you're not gonna have this issue. This is again, because it's on a matte surface. And this we can again just lift up enough so we can push that in there. We'll go back, heat that up again. Step. There you go. After you're done with your, again, the whole install, that heat gun going back on all those edges, always go back and check all that. Let's go ahead and work back down. time. Okay, you can leave, but if you have those markers set up, you can see exactly where those are going to go. And all you need to do is, is all you need to do is tack that, and then we can come back and a little bit of force to pull that tape up.
once that's done, now we can go back with some force. Again, I don't, I gotta be careful on his mat. That does scratch. So this bronze color is one of those colors that is not widely known. Uh, Orcal has really got some fantastic colors. The Orcal films, the vinyls, the wrap films are just a little bit thicker than what most are used to using. Um, we're a fan of it. It just took a while for us to get used to using that thick, thicker material. Um, but they're the only ones that offer a bronze. 3M has got a matte brown, which is pretty close. Again, these wheels kind of have a little bit more copper in them and we still haven't found that perfect match, but just like carbon fiber, everybody wants, you know, wants what we can't have with the perfect carbon fiber vinyl. Um, we've even experimented with putting matte and satin laminates over this film, which we've done, but it makes it even thicker and uh, extremely difficult to work with. So we have steered clear of that as well. I think you saw we did this bronze on mine on the cactus gray with the black outline on that first high kit. Um, that may be what we end up with on uh, on this vehicle. Uh, we also did the antique bronze on Anthony's which was the white that was a four-door uh, that came in um, with with the, the bronze wheels it looked amazing and again I think it looks great on this green as well but I think it'll look even better with some black pinstripe in there and again because it is laid in that we're gonna drop it right in there I just made that pinstripe I mean a less than a 30 second of an inch smaller um, It'll lay right in there. And if we don't like it, we can pop it right back out. So again, I'm gonna kinda cut right along that edge, not on the wrap. That scares me every time. Again, I just want to get this tacked for now. We'll go back towards the end, go back and go back in those edges, make sure everything's down real good. What I want to do now is go ahead and just get everything on and we can go back and we can check everything and we can heat it. I also don't want to take forever with this install for you. I'm trying to keep these at about a half an hour or less. So with that black pinstripe, I may just show you how I get that started. One, because that's not going to be a part of the kit that would go out to you all again. If we ever did anything two color that you purchased, it's going to be pre-layered. So you're going to only have to do this once. Um, some ask why those two color kits are so pricey. It's because this material is pricey and we're basically cutting the kit twice to, to size so we can lay those back on there and hit those marks exactly where they need to be. Again, here's that lineup I want to leave myself.
some of y'all were curious, if I'm the one that does all our installs, not all the time. The gentleman holding the camera is our master installer. He'll be getting on camera shortly, right, Gian? No, oh, yeah. All right. As soon as y'all are tired of seeing my ugly face, just let us know. We'll get that changed. Remind me never to do an install on a wrap, a matte wrap for the. Uh, Video next time. Thanks, Ted. Okay, this is that. I don't know if you can see that little pocket of air as I lift up. That's Pulling that film up just a little bit, but because again, because this is air release film, all that comes right out. We just push that back down, like right there. Gone. You cannot do that with wet install, or it's a lot more difficult. Again, some people prefer to be able to slide that into position. As long as your measurements are right, you've got you can double check it, triple check it. I believe this is the way. Okay, now we've got. Uh, let's go back. So I think you can really see this coming together now. I'm sure we're right about 30 minutes. Had this been a single color, we would be halfway through. Of course, pending prep and cleaning and getting all that stuff done. Um, we took think about an hour to hour and a half on an install. And again, even if it was two color, we would have that black layer on top of this bronze. Now when you pull this back up, be careful. Um, especially when you're vinyl on top of vinyl, that gloss is gonna stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this back. Just like on some of those other panels. I'm, I'm going to roll this edge in. Just loosen that. And again, this part here, I do want to have a little bit of tucks. You really just want to split the difference on that. And it's just being patient, get yourself a really sharp blade. You know, and you don't, you don't have to do these yourself. We you do as much as we make these kits for the do-it-yourselfer. Absolutely go to a professional if you have any concern or any hesitation on it. People ask, where do I go? Most sign shops have a certified installer. Not that you have to be, you know, just someone that knows what they're doing. You don't want someone, I mean, you could do it probably just as easy as the new guy could. Um, but again, these, these really don't get any easier to, to put on. Um, as well, if you have any issues, these kits, we can 
resell a side or resell a section sh should something happen. Many times, if it's just a small error, error, we'll just throw a piece in the mail and give that give you a replacement. And that is our bronze. Let's take a step back, make sure we got everything on there. Um, I'm gonna go back and, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and lay in those pieces of, uh, of black into those, into those seams. Um, and then we'll go back and, just like I showed you earlier in the video, we'll go back with that heat gun and kind of get into all those edges, make sure everything's down. Uh, that is important, especially, again, in this case, doing a wrap, uh, wrap material on top of wrap material. We definitely want to make sure we've got that bond in there. Um, so again, with this kit, that looks really good, uh, but I think it's going to look even better with a black pinstripe throughout that, uh, throughout that kit. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. And again, thank you uh, for watching, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, if you have any questions, comment, give us a call, give us an email. We're all, typically always here. Uh, and, then, and then I'll go back and I'll do that black pinstripe. We'll get some photos up and uh, let us know what you think. Thank you. All right, so we finished up Ted's uh, EVS Motors Bronco. We've learned a couple things. Uh, one, we did get uh, that black pinstripe added back to that hockey stripe. And it was not what he wanted to do. He did want to go back and do the first high stripe, which is what you see here. This one is a flip of what we had on ours. So we did the bronze outline with the satin black on top, that's gonna to match that hood real well. And I think we've got really, really close match to those wheels. That's about as good as we're gonna get with, the, with any kind of um, pre-cut vinyl. You know, again, this is a wrap film. That's the Oracle Antique Bronze. What we learned and what we forgot to ask was, is this ceramic coated? Um, Ted at, over at EBS, they do paint protection, they do wraps and they do ceramic coating. And yes, this was ceramic coated. We felt that immediately, it was a really smooth uh, wrap. And uh, while we had some adherence on it, we thought we were gonna be able to get by with it. And I think we still might. We added a lot of heat to that, um, but it still isn't getting that contact that we would want you to have with yours. So let this be a lesson to us and to you. I'm gonna show you a real quick shot here. Again, this has all been clean. This has all been alcoholed. I know you can't feel this, but I can tell you this is a really, really smooth finish. And as we take this 3M2080 film, we should get a lot more tack than what we're getting with this. Whether we add heat or we, or we press hard on this, what you're gonna want is at least some resistance in this. And what we're getting, that's really not a lot. Um, again, that adhesive's gonna set, it's gonna tack a little bit better over you know, the course of a day or two. Um, with heat, it's going to get a little bit better, but you really should get a little bit more than that. Um, so we did talk. Um, if it does come up, we'll go back. We'll take that coating off, and we'll go back and we'll 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 add that stripe again. This was really a test for us to use this as a demo um, to get that hockey stripe on there. Um, I didn't have the uh, I had the badge installed on mine, and I want to make sure we had a good a, a good fit on that before that went out. And um, at the same time, as a thank you to Ted up at EBS, I want to go ahead and, and get him a stripe for his time with that. So Ted, thank you. Hope you like your new stripe and uh, see you next time.